the Sugar Task Force report will be gazetted at the end of this week, opening the lead on the contentious document. So speaking when the report was handed over to him, President Uru Kenyatta promised to fully implement the recommendations from the task force. But as Denis Otieno reports, farmers have mixed reactions on the way forward. After nearly eight months of waiting, the Sugar Task Force report has finally landed at the doors of State House Nairobi. President Uru Kenyatta reassured cane farmers that the government will fully implement all recommendations to the letter. Among the key recommendations in the report include the reintroduction of the sugar development levy, which will act as a source of loans for cane farmers. The report also proposes to privatize five public sugar mills, namely Nzoya, Chemilil, Muoroni, Miwani and Sony, and enactment of the Sugar Act. Other proposals include the gazettement of the sugar sector regulations, which include import rules and a review of the taxation regime in the sector to enhance investor incentives. Anxiety had gripped many sugar growing areas in the country after farmers demanded the release of the report, which according to many was long overdue. Mila alipe mkulima kwa seven days. Pila seven days kwa hiyo report adalipa na penet ya one percent, one point five percent per month. Kemechelewa sana kwa muda mrefu. Paka sasa tunashindu ya mekuwaji. Na tena wakulima wameumia sana kwa madenia wajawai kulipa vizuri. Na hii report inapotoka siju itasaidia wakulima na mangani. Sisi kama wakulima tumeumia sana na hile report nataka timulize kwa heshima. Kwa mba aweze kuingili haraka. The report which is set for gazettement this Friday is expected to heal deep-seated row between farmers, state-owned sugar mills and lately county governments in whose docket agriculture now falls. This as governors pushed for zoning, an idea opposed vehemently by farmers. Sasa watu wameumia na imekua nishida na kambani mi kama hii ya mumia simefunga na watu wameumia na madeni. The task force which was set up in November 2018, initially co-chaired by the then Agriculture CES Mwangi Kiunjuri and Kakamega Governor Weekly for Paranya, was to look into the challenges bedeviling the sugar industry in the country. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.